Hi, and welcome back to the Stained Canvas. Today I thought it would be fun to play around with the Cedar Canyon uh, texture plates. So these are a hard plastic um, and they have these wonderful patterns all over them. I have uh, like geometric shape ones, I have like optical illusion ones, and um, I thought, you know what, it would be really fun to combine this with my gel plate. So I am going to just have some fun with these two things that I love both of these. And uh, I thought, you know what, let's see what happens. So I'm essentially going to just press the gel plate with the hard plastic. So I'm being very careful because I don't want to hit the edges of, you know, my texture plates on this because I like my gel plate and I don't want to ruin it or hurt it. But my first step is I have this fantastic blue and then I'm just putting a nice thin layer down on it. And I have a whole bunch of scrap paper. So paper that has, you know, wiped a paintbrush on or, um, you know, just messed up kind of thing. And I decided I want to do two plates per paper, like per mono print, um, just because this is going to be collage paper. Um, and so it's not necessarily like a fancy print. It's just for me to have some really cool designed patterned papers to cut out and create really neat things with. Um, so yeah, so you see this one has like a purpley kind of mess on it already and we're just going to pull up and see exactly what happens here and I kind of like it because it gives me um, the really cool floral pattern and the really cool kind of geometric -y pattern but I have variation. So I have some darker blues because the purple's behind it and then I have the purple shining through. So I really did enjoy doing this. Uh, I'm going to try it with a darker blue and I'm just going to repeat this process a couple of times. Uh, so same, same, just, you know, apply a very thin layer of acrylic paint, grab another texture plate. This one has like these really neat swirly roses on it. Um, and then I'm going to get another one down for the bottom here so that I can get two different patterns on one piece of paper. It's like my big thing. I like having a variety, right? So I want a variety of swirls and patterns. I love this one, by the way. I don't know why. It just reminds me of like a shell or something. Um, and then I'm going to just put down like, I think this is a pink page on the back of this. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's just a roller clean off page. So I just did my brayer on it. Um, and I think it turned out okay. I like the kind of rainbowy center designs that there were on that one. And then I think this is, uh, this is the one that has the pink and I kind of really like how it turned out. So I did the blue, this kind of darkish blue, but because I have like a pinky magenta color on dried up already on the paper, it's going to turn out really purpley. Uh, when I pull it up. So you'll see in just a second here after I apply my beautiful texture plates. I'm just gonna put this one there. And then we're gonna put this one here and just press like I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want any of the pattern to break my gel plate. But I really love it. Look how fantastic. And then this is the kind of magenta-y, pinky, reddish color. We're going to sl slap that on there, make sure it picks up all the color. And then uh, I'm going to pull it up. And I kind of really like how I have that darker purple kind of popping through from it. Totally gives me some really great variation for cutting out. And then uh, here is... <clears throat> the some of the ones that I did today um I really liked it I had so much fun if you can you should pick up some of these texture plates because uh they could do some pretty neat things so bye-bye for now see you guys next time on the stain canvas